Hey guys, so I'm filming a video on productivity when I should be writing a paper for tomorrow morning. Today's video is in partnership with Audible, who have an unmatched selection of audiobooks. They have a bunch of original audio shows like news, comedy, and so much more. And you guys can get a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial at www.audible.com slash makeup lover. You're welcome. Well, here I am to help you, give you a couple tips, and hopefully you can get yourself a little bit more productive for those fun exams coming your way. I, I asked you guys on Twitter. None of you are excited, neither am I, bro. Nobody, nobody's excited for this. So the first thing I'm going to have to recommend is giving yourself more time. No, I'm not saying we're gonna make a day 25 hours. That's not possible, believe me, I have tried. But what you can do is wake up an hour earlier on days when you really need to get work done. That means setting your alarm an hour earlier, but don't forget to go to bed an hour earlier the night before. I know it's hard because sometimes you're like staying up until three in the morning doing really important YouTube searches and watching llamas dance, you know? I really understand that. But the thing is, if you go to bed at three, you're not gonna wake up at six. Like there's just no way. Make sure when your alarm goes off, you are up and at them. When was the last time that you said, oh, I'm so happy I snoozed my alarm this morning? Never, you never said that. And the last way to give yourself more time is not to waste your time. Let's say your professor says, hey, your exam is this Thursday and your friend took this class and says, yeah, this professor literally only uses his PowerPoints to make the exams. So study the PowerPoints. Why would I go out of my way and read the textbook then? Being efficient is probably the most important thing that you can do. So my biggest key to being productive is multitasking, but in a smart way. So when I'm doing routine tasks, like maybe making food or I'm stuck in traffic and I want to turn some music on or something, I like to listen to something that's going to help me benefit in the long run. So whether it's a book for class that I was assigned that I really hate reading, or maybe it's something that I want to use for personal growth. When I'm applying skincare, washing my face in the shower, things like that, you're still listening to something, so why not make it productive? So I love Audible because they have so many selections and they have their own original shows if you are looking for something for pleasure but you guys can get a free audiobook with a 30-day trial at www.audible.com slash makeup lover so that you can start being productive just like me I've recently started listening to Lala Anthony's the power playbook and I'm gonna tell you it's incredible definitely definitely recommend so I like to use my Sunday nights or Monday mornings to plan it out. I have a planner that I absolutely adore and what I like to do is write out my to-do lists. I also really actively use my Google Calendar because it's great. I can literally like make things like hour by hour and I love that. I love to see that maybe this project is going to take me three hours, this will take me two hours, I'll be sitting in class for four hours and just slowly crying myself to sleep. But in reality like you'll see the little tiny spaces of time where you can fit something in. It's really important to realize that you have that time because when you write it down it keeps you more accountable maybe you have to write an essay okay that's your number one goal but the steps to write it write the intro write the second paragraph write the third paragraph maybe do some research all that those are little steps and it's gonna make you feel so good when you can cross them off and be like I did it ooh, ooh, I did it and it'll be a great reward when you can finally be like time for llamas dancing on the internet Woo! I have a section in my agenda that has the top three, so the top three goals that I have for that day. I'll make sure I get those three big ideas done because those are my goals. Another key to being efficient is the Pareto Principle, 80-20. If you don't know about it, Google it. 80% of the work is going to yield only 20% of the results, and 20% of the result is going to yield 80% of the result. So let's say you have a giant pile of like worksheets, like little readings you gotta do, like standard homework things, like little things that are maybe worth like one, two, five percent of your grade. And then you also have a essay that is due like a big chunk of your grade. It's like, it's like a really big chunk of your grade. Um, and it's only gonna take 20% of your work. Maybe you should focus all your efforts on doing that one big project because in the end it's worth so much more to your grade in that one class than all of that other stuff combined that's going to take you so much time. Also highly recommend if you do have errands to run or things to do, do them at off peak hours. If I am sitting at Starbucks, I'm not going to stand up and go get coffee when the line is like 30 people long. Like I'm sorry, I have to be studying. 
your environment is just as important as anything else. Make sure you're sitting at a desk that is clean, that you only have the things that you're focusing on right now, right in front of you so that you know what you're getting done and that is it. I love to have music in my ears because I like to stay away from all the crowds of people sitting around me talking about God knows what. I also really love to study in places where it is, you know, familiar, places that I feel like safe and comfortable. I also really love to wear comfortable clothes. Comfortable clothes is like the key you guys because if you're wearing something that is itchy and scratchy you're gonna be so upset like you're gonna be sitting there and like thinking about your itchy knee instead of thinking about the things that you should be studying your mindset is probably the most important thing that you can possibly do and I know people neglect this absolutely all the time you're gonna be sitting there and you're gonna be like okay I'm gonna power through I'm gonna do all this and the thing is you are not a robot you can't possibly do everything it is that you think that you can do insert like a 15 minute break it's really important to also give yourself breaks, so I like to work for like an hour and then give myself a 15 minute break. I also really like to make sure I have a timer on my phone and that way I can see the time kind of going. If you're sleepy, I highly recommend taking like a 30 minute, 10 minute nap because if you're tired, there is absolutely no way that you're going to remember the information. I know for me, when I read and I'm tired, I go back to the start of the paragraph over and over and over again and I'm like, what am I even reading? And then I like just decide to go to bed and wake up three hours early because it's just, there is no point of studying something if you're not like, you know, absorbing the information. Right before I start doing work, I love to go in and like have a cup of coffee or even just drink a little bit of tea, something along those lines, because in reality, it just makes such a huge difference to start my like, load of work with just a little boost of energy number I also like to make sure I'm content with like my food situation that I'm not hungry but I'm also not like you know overly stuffed so I like to have like small meals like whether it's like a sandwich or something really quick I really really love oatmeal um, especially when I'm like studying uh, apparently there's like a study that like steel cut oatmeal bananas and dark chocolate are like really good to focus you. I don't know how true that is, and I also didn't have bananas at my house, so I ended up having steel cut oatmeal with um, a little bit of, uh, you know, the dark chocolate with apples, and it was delicious, so I highly recommend even if you're not like studying. Like, I also get that sometimes you get overwhelmed with all the work. Believe me, today I felt the same way, but when you feel those ways, just take a minute to relax. I know sometimes you have way too much to do that you really can't, but take a step outside, go out, and just don't take your phone, don't take anything, and just like listen to the birds chirping or something simple. I love going on walks, I love going to the park, it's my favorite. Sometimes I go for a run even though I hate running. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out Audible, they do have an unmatched selection of audiobooks, and they have so many original audio shows like news, comedy, and so much more. And you guys can get a free audiobook with a 30 day free trial at www.audible.com slash makeup lover so make sure you check it out and let me know if you'd like to see a study routine or how I take notes stuff like that regarding school thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye